Like and subscribe right now, or the spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The weirdest pets in the world. You've probably seen a few people with exotic pets, right? But we're not here to talk about your usual tiger, lion, or monitor lizard. We're here to talk about some of the weirdest, creepy, and just downright absurd animals that some people have decided to keep as pets. Like, seriously, what were these people thinking? So, without further ado, let's take a look at 10 pretty weird pets that have gotten a warm bed in people's houses. Number 10. Stick Insects Did you know that for years, the stick insect has been used in educational classes for middle school children? Apparently, it's a thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I doubt you remember letting a stick insect crawl up your arm during biology class. Well, it looks like more and more people today are keeping stick insects as their main pets at home. I have no idea. That being said, these pets can grow up to 4 inches in length and can live for several years if given the right care. So, how exactly do you take care of a stick insect? The first thing is to build it a nice enclosure with tall structures, preferably twice the height of the insect. This will help them hang comfortably, which, mind you, is their favorite pastime. Stick insects are omnivorous, meaning that they thrive on a diet of lettuce, ivy, bramble, and the occasional smaller insect. Stick insects are social animals, and you'd be committing a crime if you didn't get your stick insect a love interest. Hey, maybe they're not that weird after all. As for maintenance, it's advisable to clean the stick insect's enclosure at least once a week and keep it at room temperature. But I still can't believe I'm really talking about a stick insect as a pet. Isn't this a crazy world we live in? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Capybara. Take a look at this fella right here. Isn't he a stud muffin? Especially how his, um, rodent-like face stares soulfully into yours? Yep, keeping the capybara as a pet is the new craze that's making the rounds on the internet. This animal is native to South America, and not only related, but is a close cousin to the guinea pig. It is considered the largest rodent in the world, and while it might look cute, it's quite hard to take care of a capybara. In fact, the capybara can never be fully domesticated, so it's important that you provide a capybara with a lot of love and affection while it is still very young to establish a strong bond. Capybaras require a lot of outdoor space and an area to swim, just like every other semi-aquatic creature. They consume a steady diet of grass and require a fresh supply of drinking water all the time. Number 8. Hedgehog So when did people start keeping hedgehogs as pets? Did I miss the memo or something? Apparently, the surge in pet hedgehogs began in 1991 with the release of the popular video game Sonic the Hedgehog. Most people tend to mistake hedgehogs for porcupines, but the two species are completely different. Hedgehogs can vary in size, weighing anywhere between 0.5 pounds to 1.5 pounds. They can measure about three quarters of an inch in length. The good thing about keeping a hedgehog is that it is a gentle pet and requires very low maintenance. In the wild, hedgehogs generally feed on insects, but you can buy your hedgehog a number of domesticated mixes found in pet stores that are specially formulated to feed these spiny creatures with their recommended supply of insects, treats, and crickets. Hedgehogs need to be handled by humans as much as possible for them to get used to their owners. For essential living conditions, the Hedgehog Welfare Society HWS, recommends cages that are no smaller than 30 by 24 inches and an exercise wheel to keep the animal fit. Number 7. Pygmy Goats For centuries, humans have kept goats as pets. Even Abraham Lincoln had a little pet goat in the White House during his presidency. Although most pet goats aren't your standard goat, pygmy goats have become the popular substitute as a noteworthy pet. Thanks to their friendly disposition and compact size, these grass eaters are similar to owning a small dog and are generally considered quite easy to take care of. Contrary to popular belief, 
pygmy goats require a lot of maintenance, love, and affection. You have to build these pets a shelter that is at least 8 by 10 feet that comes with 4 foot high fencing as recommended by the National Pygmy Goat Association. Mind you, pygmy goats are extremely social and are usually happier if they have a couple of friends to associate with. An ideal diet for these creatures includes leaves, brush, and grass hays. Number 6. Pot-Bellied Pigs this isn't your regular one-ton pig that roams around farms, but rather a smaller pig that was genetically bred as a wholesome pet. But when did potbelly pigs gain popularity as ideal pets? Well, George Clooney famously cared for a pot-bellied pig he called Max for over 18 years. Unlike their giant cousins, pot-bellied pigs are easy to train and don't have a bad odor. In fact, these animals are so intelligent that they've even been used as drug sniffers due to their amazing sense of smell. So how exactly do you take care of a pot-bellied pig? It's ideal to give these lovely pets a schedule to run with. According to research, these animals can easily become obese, so you should feed them a healthy diet and make sure they exercise every day. A walk around the neighborhood will do wonders for these animals. Number 5. Sugar Gliders As part of the possum family, sugar gliders are becoming one of the most desired pets in the world. I mean, aren't these furry buggers cute? Native to Australia, sugar gliders get their distinct name because of a unique membrane that extends from their front leg to their back leg, which allows them to glide freely from one tree to another. Once it reaches adult size, a sugar glider can weigh about 3 ounces and have a length of about 7 inches. Naturally, sugar gliders are social animals and are happiest when they have companionship. So, make sure you spend a lot of time with them when they are young so that you can make a connection. As for diet, it is recommended that you feed them with cooked meats and eggs, raw nuts, a meal of insects once in a while, and fresh vegetables. Number 4. Wallaby The wallaby, just like its cousin the kangaroo, is a marsupial that's native to Australia. They usually grow up to 41 inches in length and weigh about 53 pounds. But the best feature about them? It's their cute eyes. Wallabies are fast and love to jump around a lot, therefore they need a lot of space to play. Because of their timid nature, wallabies require a lot of love and care. They love diets rich in apples, fruits, leaves, and grass. They also love to play and are well known for being nature's escape artists. In fact, a regular fence is no match for them. If you plan to adopt a wallaby as a pet, the Australian Marsupial Society recommends a fence that is at least 1.5 meters tall built with a containment structure, such as chains and a roof. Wallabies are extremely social, so it's best you get them as a pair. Number 3. Skunks While skunks might not be the most popular pets, they've been kept as house animals as early as the 20th century. Perhaps their popularity never rose mainly because of their smelly reputation. Nevertheless, for you to have a domesticated skunk, you'll need to have its scent glands removed when the animal is about 4 weeks old. This way, once they are startled, you don't get an unpleasant release of stench. So what's it like owning this pet? Well, skunks are very intelligent and sensitive animals with an inquisitive personality. It's highly recommended that you spend a lot of time bonding with your pet skunk while it is still young so that they become accustomed to humans. Because they are highly intelligent animals, they can be litter trained like cats and can consume and love a diet of fresh vegetables and dry food. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. Whoa, hold on a second. Is that family keeping a hyena as a pet? Now that's dangerous. Hyenas, just like lions and leopards, are instinctively carnivorous. So you've got to be extremely careful if you have one of those as a pet. Number 2. Miniature Donkey did you know that more than 3 million people in the United States are proud owners of equine animals? With one of them being the miniature donkey? Indeed, miniature donkeys make the perfect pet, especially if you have children because of how affectionate they are. Don't let the term miniature in their name fool you. These donkeys aren't small. 
They stand about 3 feet in height and weigh 300 pounds when fully mature. For a healthy diet, you should feed your donkey plenty of grain, hay, and a steady supply of fresh water. Additionally, you should provide them with plenty of space for them to stretch their short limbs. They also require regular vaccines and should have their hooves trimmed at least once every three months. Miniature donkeys are social animals, so it's advisable to get them as a pair too. And number one, cockroach. At number one, we have what is probably considered the grossest pet ever. Well, many people in America consider this large hissing critter their spirit animal. While most of us instinctively crush a cockroach underneath our heel if we see it scuttling across the living room, others consider it a blessing. Come to think of it, cockroaches can be pretty cool. Most species don't fly or bite and keep away from humans. They only show up when food is involved. Keeping it as a pet, roaches only need a small living space with limited light and a few sticks to climb. If you're keeping it in an enclosure, it's advisable to coat the edges with petroleum just to prevent the cockroach from escaping. As for their diet, they can eat almost anything, but we recommend fresh veggies and pellet foods that are rich in protein. With that being said, we've come to the end of our video. Which of these pets do you consider too weird to keep? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that will probably still exist until the very end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.